re escalation of the Maratha quota stir, the protests have now turned violent in several districts. After Bede, Section 144 has also been imposed in Dhara Shiv. Now, this after state transport buses were torched and offices and houses of NCP leaders were set on fire. The fallout is only worsening. Pandarpur depot in Maharashtra has also decided to not run any state buses amid the vandalism. State bus services from Pune to Jalna, Bead and Latur have also been suspended. Meanwhile, CM Eknath Chinde and Deputy CM Devendra Fadnavis held a late-night meeting with Maharashtra police to get a stock of the situation in Bead. And the CM said that over 11,000 old records of the mention of Kunbi caste and fresh certificate will be issued from today onwards. The Chief Minister has called a cabinet meeting also to decide on the same matter today. My colleagues uh, Arunil Alankit uh, join us live for more information on this. Arunil, we've seen how the Maratha reservation row has been heightening. And of course, this is only going to escalate further unless a strict action is taken, one by the police and also something is done by the CM Shinde government to ensure that these protesters are placated. Well, at present, I'm reporting from uh, Jalna, the Antarvali uh, Sarati village. Now, this is the main epicenter of uh, the uh, whole Maratha protest that has been carried out. Manoj Jarange Patil, you can see him in my uh, visuals as well. My video journalist Rajesh Khade has been giving us visuals wherein he's been continuing his fast uh, to the seventh day. Yes, last night there were sporadic incidents of violence that were been reported from several places in Marathwada. Uh, if you name them, Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar, uh, Dhara Shiv, as well as Bead was uh, majorly affected uh, with uh, state transport buses as well as uh, uh, fire brigade vehicles uh, being torched up by the violent protesters. However, Manoj Jarange Patil has now urged all the protesters to maintain restraint, basically uh, also saying that we have to observe uh, the Gandhian way of uh, fighting for uh, Maratha reservation. Uh, in fact, CM Shinde also had a dialogue with Manoj Jarange Patil in the morning today. Uh, basically, uh, the announcement that has been made with respect to giving out as many as 11,000 Kunbi caste certificates has been, uh, been, been properly rejected by, uh, the, uh, by the Maratha leader, that is Manoj Jarange Patil, basically saying that that all the people belonging to Maratha caste should be uh, given a reservation, should be given benefits uh, with, which come with the Maratha reservation. So this basically seems like a stalemate between uh, the Maharashtra government, which is completely under pressure with respect to the violent incidents that are taking place on one hand, and also uh, the hunger strike that has been observed by Maratha agitation leader uh, Manoj Jarange Patil. Uh, how the stalemate is going to end now, that is a big, big question because, as you rightly pointed out, there is a big chance that this entire matter may escalate further as well because today is the seventh day of this hunger strike. This is the second phase of, uh, of hunger strike that has been called by Manoj Jarange Patil. Before also a similar kind of hunger strike was being held, he had given an ultimatum of 40 days to the Maharashtra government which later on formed a subcommittee. Today a cabinet meeting will also be held uh, in the city of Mumbai. Now what all decisions that have been taken by uh, the Maharashtra government, that also uh, will be keeping be a close eye on. Right, Arunil, you're of course right there on the spot uh, where uh, Marut Jarangya Patel is also there. We, of course, seen how his health has been deteriorating and this has been a focus of the opposition as well, who have continued to say that the fact that his health is deteriorating and also it is worsening even further and the Shinde government is not acting on it is shocking. But also, Arunil, if you can just give us an update of Manoj uh, Patel's health and also if there is a possibility of you speaking to him and trying an understanding what the situation is in the state and what their demands are and also how they are planning to take this forward. We will show our viewers the mood over here. We asked Manoj Jarange Patilji also whether he will be willing to speak speak to us. He said that I'll be holding a press conference at around 10.30 a.m. Now there is a young baby girl who's been speaking to the Maratha agitation leader. On the left side, you can see there is a doctor who's on duty uh, 24 into 7 to review uh, the medical situation of uh, Manoj Jarange Patil. Now, uh, coming to the entire political significance of this, uh, of, uh, this Rao as well, Maratha is a caste 
कास्ट इज अ वेरी डोमिनेंट कास्ट इन द स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द नंबर ऑफ वोट शेयर दे होल्ड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द एंटायर पॉपुलेशन दैट इज देयर द मोस्ट डोमिनेट डोमिनेंट कास्ट एंड नाउ द काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर दैट इज बीन माउंटेड बाय मराठा एजुटेशन लीडर्स एज वेल एज द प्रोटेस्टर्स ऑन द रोड इट इट सीम्स लाइक द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र द the three party government in maharashtra beat cm shinde devendra fadnavis bjp as well as ajit pawar's ncp seems to be under immense pressure yesterday in fact during the sporadic incidents of violence that took place several uh, political leaders their houses beat from ncp right. sharad pawar faction beat from ajit pawar faction beat bjp leaders or uh, any other political parties leaders their offices were attacked their houses were attacked particularly in uh, uh, in the marathwada region Right Arunil you're getting us all those details from there we'll of course keep a track on uh, what Manoj Patil has to say during his press conference as well and of course his health continues to be a cause of concern for uh, the protesters as well but